Hello and welcome to a new video. Thank you very much for your interest and time. If you like the video, please leave me a like and subscribe to my channel, so you won't miss any new videos from me and give me a little pleasure. Some time ago I had published my lens review of the Canon EF 2.8-4, 28-80mm, L lens. Back then, I had shown you the results of its performance on analog Canon EOS models, and on the Sony a7 III. In today's video, it had to show its performance on the Canon EOS 5 DSR, the 50 megapixel SLR bolide and thus highest resolution Canon SLR body. If you want information about the lens specs, mechanical quality and feel, check out my first video. In this new update video, I show you unprocessed RAW files directly from the camera, and of course also images that I processed in Lightroom. The first image I want to show you was taken at 28mm and f8. You can see the original RAW file without any processing. Please note the display size of 100% and 200%. The monitor used is a 5K monitor from a 2017 iMac. At this setting, the lens performs very well, especially when you consider the year of release, 1989. At focal length setting of 28mm, I recommend the aperture range of 8 to 11, for optical quality really worth seeing. Here is an unprocessed image taken at 34mm and f8. The optical quality looks even better to me. Please note the amount of information provided by the camera sensor and lens. In my opinion, this is an amazing result. With this small series, you can see very well the problem of vignetting of the lens at 80 millimeters. These unprocessed raw images were taken with apertures of 4, 5.6, 8, 11, 16, and 22. In the close-up and macro range, I personally find the results unexpectedly excellent. Sharp, crisp, and very detailed. First-class performance, isn't it? Not surprising is the weak performance and strong backlight. This shows the age of the lens, and the state of the art of the coating at that time. Even the supplied lens hood did not save much of the image. However, even today's lenses, which are corrected with many elements, sometimes have problems in backlight. Unfortunately, no software I know of offers a profile for correcting aberrations. So manual work is required here. But even without a correction profile, you can take great pictures with the 50 megapixel EOS 5 DSR and this L standard zoom from the last century. I will now show you some processed images I took this summer in Varanger National Park in Norway. Feel free to visit me on my homepage, aperture1.4.com and on Instagram at aperture1.4. See you. Have fun watching. Thanks again for your time.
And here is a bonus a few pictures taken in my home.